Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Sunday, the 20th of October, 2019. Our topic today is when ambition is no more. The Bible says, watch out. Don't let your hearts be dulled by carousing and drunkenness and by the worries of this life. Don't let that day catch you unaware like a trap so that that day comes upon every living thing that is on the earth. Luke chapter 21, verse 34 to 35. Thought for the day, what will matter is that thing that matters when nothing else matters. We live in a very careless generation where people mind the immediate and ignore the ultimate. You see, people prepare for weddings but they never prepare for the marriage. Their wedding succeeded but the marriage is a mess. In the same manner, you see people with great ambitions for achieving diverse things on the earth but with zero ambition concerning eternity. What a tragedy. The question is, what is the ambition of the millions of those lying dead? What ambition can they have in the mortuaries? What do they want to achieve? What is their expectation? What's on their expectation card? Nothing. Beloved, don't waste your life chasing shadows. A time will come when ambition would be zero. That is, no more amb ambition to pursue. That is when the owner of life has taken it. Now, what will you do at that time? What will you, what, what will happen when the curtains of time are drawn? When the channels of eternity are open? What will you do when the silver cord is broken? When the golden pitcher is broken? What will you do when a man returns to his age-long maker? When the dust returns back to his dust and the spirit returns to the maker? What will you do when no one cares how well dressed you are because of course no one cares about how well dressed a dead person looks what will you do when nobody cares how fine or how beautiful you look because no one cares how beautiful a dead person looks please don't spend your life chasing vanity don't squander your time on things that don't really matter what will you do if you have just 24 hours to live on earth because one day indeed, you will have just 24 hours left to be alive. Will you be able to meet God the way you are looking now? What will you do or what do you need to do to straighten out your life now? If you are told that you have only 24 hours to live, please go ahead and straighten it out now. Remember this. What will it matter when nothing else matters? What is it that will matter when nothing else matters? Remember this. Make sure that you make your life count. What's our assignment? Go through this message or this charge again today. Number two, be conscious of Jesus Christ's second coming. Number three, live ready. Let's pray. Say, oh Lord. I ask that you lead me in the way and that will make me please you with my life. Lead me away from those things that will lead me away from you. Grant me the grace to be Christ conscious, to be conscious of the return of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take a few minutes to think about what we just discussed today and see where to make amends. Let that day not catch you unaware. And let the help of God be renewed upon your life in the name of Jesus. You are listening to me, you're watching me, and you'd like to be born again. Pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Forgive me every sin I have sinned against you. And help me to live a life that pleases you. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. I pray the Lord helps you and the Lord helps all of us and the grace of God be made available to us to live ready for the rapture. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.
is a place of revival. It is a place.